Hey, I've got a record coming out called An Evening with a Dirty Old Man. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> now for my next number. Shelton our number eight. Take one. <laughs> Willie, let, let's face it, you're goofing all over the place tonight. <laughs> Skeleton hour number nine, take two. Ladies and gentlemen Well, tonight's our Thanksgiving show See, I know it's a Thanksgiving show Because we sent the script to the president of CBS And he sent it back, Mark Turkey <laughs> <laughs> You know what Thanksgiving really is, don't you? That's November's way of saying That the Christmas bills are just around the corner <laughs> hey, you know what the cannibal Who had uh, invited some friends over For Thanksgiving dinner No turkey, just friends <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, the uh, turkey growers, uh, they, uh, they seem to, uh, every year, try to find a new way to get more meat on the turkey or do something different with them. This year, they crossed a turkey with a kangaroo, see? Now, when you lay them on the platter, you got a little pouch to put the cranberries in. <laughs> I, I like turkeys myself. It's a wonderful dinner, and, and, and as a matter of fact, it's the first thing Georgia, my wife, prepared when we were on our honeymoon. And uh, she fixed this turkey and I was tickled to death. <laughs> she forgot to take the feathers off. <laughs> hey, one time she fixed a turkey and uh, we uh, didn't want to kill it, see? So we chloroformed it. And we picked all the... <laughs> I said, oh no. <laughs> we picked all the feathers off of him, see? And we put him in the ice box. And about an hour later, we went back. <laughs> And he'd come to life again. <laughs> there he was with two stalks of celery doing a fan dance. <laughs> the last time we had a turkey, it was the toughest thing. Well, as a matter of fact, we sent a wire up to Salt Lake City to see if that statue of the seagull was missing. <laughs> this is the toughest turkey ever. <laughs> Somebody either gets them later or enjoys them long. <laughs> This, this turkey was really tough, you know. It, it took us 12 hours to cook it. He kept blowing out the pilot light. <laughs> hey, I was reading a book about Thanksgiving the other day. If, uh, it seems that uh, the first Thanksgiving, 
at the first Thanksgiving dinner, John Alton was already in love with Priscilla, you see. Now, after the first course, he kissed her hand. The second course, he kissed her uh, elbow. And the third course, he kissed her cheek. <laughs> The name of the, uh, the book was Pilgrim's Progress. <laughs> but on Thanksgiving, I usually invite my relatives over, you know, and uh, we serve turkey according to where they're from, see where they're born. Now, I have a aunt who's from the East, so we give her the East Wing, and we give... <laughs> like I'm not the only one that knows what's coming. <laughs> and I have a sister-in-law who's from the uh, West, so we gave her the, <laughs> the West thing. And, oh, I don't think we have to go any further with this. <laughs> hey, you know, one thing nice about relatives, though, my relatives are very considerate. Right after Thanksgiving dinner, they sit down, and right after it's over, they're ready to leave when Christmas comes. <laughs> My grandfather, he's a wonderful old guy, always smiling. He got white teeth. They're made out of tile. <laughs> Looks like a vicious bathroom. <laughs> hey, I have, to I have to tell you about one old turkey. Every year I've told, him, told you about this turkey, and we go out to pick him out a little advance, see? So he's still there, this turkey. Now, I've been out here a good many years. Now, the first time I went out to this farm, this old turkey was there, and, and, uh, and uh, they're getting ready to kill him, and he knows this, see? So uh, the guy says, there's a nice one over there, and the turkey goes. <laughs> now the next year, they says, there's a nice one. The same old turkey came over and he went. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart old bird, see? The next year I went out, he says, there he is, and he comes up and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> now this year, <laughs> he's, he's really got it cooked up. He walks over and he goes. <laughs> hey, talking about birds, Gertrude and Heathcliff. They, they, they were talking, and, and uh, Gertrude said, I'm glad that I'm not a turkey. I'm really glad I'm not a turkey. I'm glad I'm a seagull. Turkeys have it tough, you know. First, the butcher fills you full of rocks so you'll be heavier. Then they roast you. Then they knock the stuffings out of you. <laughs> and after you're dead, they pick on you for a week afterwards. <laughs> No matter how nice you try to be, you wind up in the soup. <laughs> well, you're glad you're not a turkey. I'm glad I'm not a swan. You're glad you're not a swan? <laughs> yes. Do you know why their necks are so long? Why, no. Why are their necks so long? Because their heads are so far from their body. <laughs> Who lives in a shoe? Dum dum. Shooby dooby. Dum dum. Shooby dooby. She's got so many children that she don't know what to do. Dum dum. Shooby dooby. Dum dum. Shooby dooby. We don't know why she's looking for some company, but tonight she's got a party in the nursery. Dum dum. Shooby dooby. Dum dum. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. The garden will be rocking when they do the twist. Dum dum. Shooby dooby. Dum dum. Shooby dooby. Everybody's on the invitation list. Dum dum, dum dum, So come along and join us for a real good time while you're hopping and a bopping to a nursery rhyme. Dum dum, dum dum, yeah yeah, yeah yeah. Jack and Jill are coming down from the hill, and the dancing they were doing made the water spill. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah. Red Riding Hood is splitting from her grandma's head. And the wolf is right behind her because he wants her bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They call him Super Simon, but he's smart as a fox. Cause he's got a pretty baby known as Goldilocks. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hansel and his Gretel should be glad they fled from the crazy little cottage made of gingerbread. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In case you, you hear, hear a trumpet, trumpet look for little boy blue. For people be there with him and the sheep will be too. Hostess will be greeting people all around With the cat who brought the fiddle for some swinging sound Shooby dooby, shooby dooby dum dum
you but a story ends So goodbye to the old woman and her kooky friends Dum dum Jimmy 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 Dooby Dum Dum Tonight, Red Skelton, Janice Page, and Stubby K in Ten Baby Fingers and Twelve Baby Toes. <laughs> has, uh, has anyone prepared the uh, formula for the Lewis baby? I did. Good. How about the tag for the Swanson baby? I took care of it. Now, has anyone given the Cavendish baby his vitamins? I did. But I did. No, but I did. <laughs> no, I did. Me too. Oh, so did I. You mean you've all given him vitamins? Oh, Good yes. heavens. Seven miserable years later. Okay, Junior. This is for throwing my shoes into the swimming pool. With me and them. And this is for putting ice cubes in my bed. This is for you. A poor, misunderstood child who made only one tiny mistake. Being born. <laughs> coming. That's probably the monster's mother. Now remember, we, we get together at midnight. You bring the junior doll, and I'll bring the pins. Now get the stuff out of here, hurry up. Come on, hurry. Be sure you close the door when you get through. Good, what's that? Good evening, Mrs. Cavendish. Good evening, Hawkins. The staff was quite concerned about you. We expected you home much earlier. I've had a terrible day, Hawkins. A terrible day. My son, Junior, ran away from home all the way to San Diego. Well, if I may say so, madam, congratulations. <laughs> but how do you know he ran all the way to San Diego? Because I drove him there. <laughs> Will you have the maid pack my bags at once? I'm moving. Moving? Why? In case he returns, I don't want him to know my address. <laughs> but first, bring me a glass of champagne. I want to celebrate. You for me, dear, I hope. Hawkins, would you make that a glass of iodine and leave the bottle? <laughs> Shall I open the door? No, bolt it. <laughs> uh, Hawkins, Hawkins, be careful. Remember what happened last time. Yoo-hoo! I ain't home, I ain't home, I ain't home. Hey. Oh. Hawkins. Oh, Hawkins. Hawkins. How do you like that? I've invented a new silent butler. <laughs> Junior? Well, goodbye, penguin. I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> How did you get back from San Diego so fast? I ran all the way. My little fear you're killing me. Oh, Junior, you didn't run at all. You're fibbing. How could you tell? I know you. If your mouth is open, you're fibbing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get home so fast? Well, I got in this car, see? You and stole I... a car? No, I didn't steal it. It was parked in front of a cemetery, and I figured if I was dead, he wasn't going to use it. <laughs> Junior, how did you learn to drive? On the way back. <laughs> Wait, what a ride. What a ride, boy. Oh, boy. I knew you would be worried about me getting back, see? Yes, with my luck, I figured you'd make it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still love me, don't you? <laughs> you know, I took a shortcut through the Vine Street Tunnel, you Junior, see. there is no Vine Street Tunnel. There is now. <laughs> I get the picture. Uh, where's the car? Between third and eighth. Is it closer to third or eighth? 
I told you it's between third and eighth. <laughs> this means another lawsuit? No, no, there was no witnesses, no witnesses. Well, there weren't? Why? No, I ran over all of them. <laughs> you should have seen me driving over the sidewalk through the safety zones, and I pulled in front of buses, and then I made a wrong turn on the freeway. There I was, all the traffic coming to me, and a great big bus. Oh, no, 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 no. What's the matter? I scared me, Tell. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing but trouble. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I am going to get some professional help. I'm going to take you to a child psychologist. No, you're not. Now, you're not going to take me to one of them nut doctors. Now, I tell you, you do and I'll tell. You'll tell what? I'll tell everybody that you used to be a strip dancer, stri strip tease dancer at the Pink Dog House. <laughs> Oh, it is, huh? Okay, Charlie, hit her with a purple light. <laughs> Atta boy, it's go, go, go all the way, Bubbles. Don't you hit me. That'll be all for today, Miss Jones. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Uh, by the way, what are the rates? $25 an hour. $25 an hour? Well, I'm sorry, that's all I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow at 10. <laughs> Better make that nine. I'm sicker than I thought. <laughs> Now, I don't want to see any doctor. There's only one thing can make me go in there. Oh, oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> oh, you hit my neck and broke it. You broke my little neck. I didn't hit you in the neck. I hit you in the shoulder blade. You cut, you cut yourself? <laughs> Here, you are going to drive me to my grave. Well, good heavens, were you expecting to walk? Oh. <laughs> and now, tell me, what can I do for you, young man? Sit down. Make me. <laughs> what seems to be the trouble? Every time I sit down, me head hurts. Uh, doctor, I'm uh, Mrs. Cavendish, and this is my son. I see, and what's your problem? Like I said, this is my son. <laughs> well, uh, tell me, young man, just how old are you? I'm seven, going on eight. <laughs> he looks like seven going on 48. <laughs> I would say he's a definite example of the results of an accelerated growth of the pre- and post-pituitary gland. Uh, could you explain that more simply? Certainly. You have a seven-year-old monster. <laughs> well, call me a monster, you big fat slob, you. <laughs> what do you call me a big fat slob for? I called him the way I see you. <laughs> Mrs. Cavendish, would you please wait outside a few minutes? Could you make that a few years? <laughs> Oh, by the way, if I'm not, uh, if I don't call for him in, uh, shall we say, 30 days, he's yours. Now, Junior, you and I are going to have a man-to-man -man talk. Oh, good. Bring out the dirty x-rays and we'll really swing. No, I just want to talk to you. When to talk, uh, Yes. Okay. Now, tell me exactly, uh, what is your name? Well, Junior's my name, but I said to my folks, I said, you call me Butch, call me Butch, see? Then I had me first fight. What do they call you now? Junior. <laughs> Now, what, they, is, what is your name? They say I'm a mean little kid. That's all I know. Oh, that's nonsense. In the sphere of child psychology, there is no such thing as a mean little kid. Only mean adults. People who just don't understand the workings of a child's mind. But in my professional career, I can honestly say I have never come across a mean little kid. <laughs> now, he ought to know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen one, huh? You must be new around here. <laughs> well... We live and we learn. Send your mother in, will you? Yeah. I'm warning you, she's a troublemaker. Uh. Hey, the blubber wants to talk to you. Come on in, Bubbles. My name is not Bubbles. Oh, no. Okay, Charlie, hit her with a magenta spot. <laughs> 
All right, flash your ball head on her. She'll do three minutes. Go on in there. Go okay, on. I'll, I'll get oh, in oh, here. All oh, right, oh. don't yell at me. There's a lady sitting in here. <laughs> well, Dr. Pitkin, um, what do you think about my son? Well, what this lad needs is a strong hand. Oh, I give him a strong hand every morning, right across the mouth. <laughs> no, 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 that should be his father's job. Well, I'm afraid Junior has no father. His father's in heaven? No, the dirty coward's hiding out on the moon. <laughs> I haven't seen him since the day Junior was born. You mean he ran away? That's right. I had the sun in the morning and he was on the moon that night. He <laughs> didn't even come down for the divorce. Then you're single, I take it. Well, maybe you can take it, but I can't. It's terrible not being able to find another husband. Well, that's understandable. After all, the responsibility of becoming a father to a miserable monster like your son is something that no man would accept. But, Doctor, I'm worth well over a million dollars. But then again, there is something appealing about that adorable little lad that brings out the father in me. Dr. are you asking for my hand? I certainly am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I'd like you to meet my associate, Dr. Barker. I'll oh, get him I'd for love you. To. Irving! Oh, wait a couple with that name. <laughs> Cavendish, Dr. Barker. Oh, he's a sly one. He's a sly one. He wants to marry my mummy for her money. I gotta break up this wedding, boy. Uh-oh. She's holding her swinging hand. Oh, boy. <laughs> if I do, I get a whipping. I do it. Hey, Bubbles, you're on! <laughs> wedding gown is lovely, Bruce. Thank you, Mrs. Cavendish. Oh, no, no, leave it. I want Junior to see it. Very well, Mrs. Cavendish. <coughs> Junior, come in here at once. I can't. I'm trying to feed the cat. <laughs> well, why is the cat making all that fuss? I'm feeding him to the dog. <laughs> Junior, darling, I want you to see what Mommy looks like in her wedding dress. Begging your pardon, madam. Yes, Hawkins. The caterer would like to see you immediately. Oh, very well. I bet you know what I think for you. Oh boy, a perfect three-point landing. <laughs> Nose, knees, and navel. <laughs> Look beautiful, kiddo. You're gonna have your first heart attack right now. Well, here you are. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? You didn't faint. Well, maybe I'll come a little closer. <laughs> I'm gonna come at you like the California drivers with both eyes closed. Whee! <laughs> Damn, boy, how is that, huh? Boy, you can't come any closer than that. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, hey, mommy, what happened? Speak to me, speak to me. Boy, it didn't take you long to go, did it? <laughs> Boy, old Riggy Mortar set in already. <laughs> yeah, put you up here. What you, are you doing? I, I'm fixing your head, kiddo. I mean, you know what? I was gonna buy you. A, I was gonna buy you a necklace, see? But now you can just keep it in your stomach. You see that? There you are. How do you like? What are you looking at? Yeah. There you are, here. Junior, will you put that head back? Oh! <laughs> Good heavens, I knew you were rich, but I didn't know you could afford two heads. <laughs> Junior, don't you think my wedding gown is lovely? Oh, yes, it's beautiful. It's like the one that Elizabeth Taylor wore. Yes. And wore, and wore. <laughs> is that a drip dry? Mrs. Cavendish. Yes, Hawkins. Your fiancé, Dr. Pitkin, awaits without. Uh, Go on, you English penguin, you. <laughs> hey, when he says without, that means without personality, without money, and without hair. Junior, 
You are speaking of the man I'm going to marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You marry him and I'll throw a tantrum. King size, mind you. King size. Well, I'm going to marry him. Okay, it's tantrum time. You're not going to marry him. You're not. <laughs> Oh, Dad. When are you going to start throwing the tantrum? <laughs> well, I could have swore that was it. <laughs> I'm going to have to start cramming for examination. A kindergarten boy, I don't want to flunk tantrum. <laughs> oh, here comes that elephant boy. <laughs> oh, there he comes. Oh, darling, how I've missed you. You said it, Taboo. She's over there. <laughs> how I've missed you. Darling, I've been so lonesome without you. And you really love me. Oh, you bet your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, darling, at last we're together. I've hungered for your eyes. I've hungered for your lips. I've hungered for your heart. Hey, watch this guy. He ain't no vegetarian. <laughs> now, Junior, that remark wasn't very nice, but I understand what prompted it. You see, there are really two of you. Oh. There's the good little boy and the bad little boy. Well, isn't that nice, old big country? <laughs> <laughs> there is the good little boy there. Yeah. And here comes the night. Oh! <laughs> oh, Junior! Junior, you stop kicking him. You've got your new shoes on. <laughs> stop. Don't you know that you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar? Well, who in the dickens wants a house full of flies? <laughs> He doesn't seem to trust me. No, because you want to marry my mummy because of the money that my dad left for her. That's nonsense. I'd marry her no matter who left her the money. <laughs> I, 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 I never married anyone for the money. I, just give me the chance. Yeah, you see? You see? There, white man, you speak with forked tongue. Me scalp him. Me scalp him. Me big dreamer. <laughs> Junior, you're just not being fair to Dr. Pitkin. Try to like him. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> no use, they keep coming out jerk. Now that does it. That does it. You are an ill-mannered, nauseating, rude, disgusting, obnoxious brat. Well, for heaven's sake, nobody perfect, you know. Now, you go to your room at once, and don't come back until you're a good little boy. Yeah, you, you shouldn't point that at me. It's got a nail in it. <laughs> go up there till I'm a good little boy. Nobody lived that out, long. Out, no out. <laughs> oh, good heavens, I don't know what I'm going to do with that boy. Sometimes I'd like to break him in half, but I couldn't stand two of them. <laughs> now, now, darling, his condition is quite common among adolescents. You see, it's a manifestation of schizophrenic paranoiacal traumatic syndrome. Uh, uh, what, what does that mean exactly? Look it up in a dictionary. You'll find it listed under stinker. <laughs> I'm going to fix that fat doctor, that big hip on top of the omnibus. <laughs> that rhinus a horse. <laughs> Put a little bit of that dynamite powder in there. Now, a little dab of this nitroglycerin there. Come to think of it, he's big enough for a two-dab man. <laughs> boy, this is going to fix him up, boy. I'll fix him. This will blow him out of the house, I'll tell you, boy. Oh, boy. I better blow him out of the state. That's what I do. <laughs> Oh, why be half safe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, this is going to be the first three-stage cigar in the history. Oh, boy, off to me lunging pad. Oh, oh, darling, I'm so happy. Where should we be married? I'd, I'd like a nice, oh, quiet place, you know? How about your safe deposit vault? <laughs> oh, I feel so wanted. <laughs> I just get a task to pick you up in the back. <laughs> Here, 
There, Daddy dear, I brought you a going away present. Oh, but Junior, Doctor isn't going away. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, but you hold his hand, you can make it a family plan. <laughs> Junior, for me? Yeah. Well, it's wonderful to see that you've had such a change of heart. Oh, you're going to have a change of heart. Change your liver, kidneys. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll smoke this after dinner. No, no, smoke it now. Smoke it now. Because you're not going to be any after dinner. Here, 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 here I got to stay away from them things. I'm too busy. <laughs> that tastes good, huh? Mm. Yeah. I stopped at the travel agency and I picked up our... our, 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 our <laughs> 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 No wonder she artist. can't talk, smelling that thing, I can't breathe. I picked up our itinerary. Oh, did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be flying to Tokyo, Hong Kong, Singapore, Manila. Is it possible to cover all those places in such a short time? At the same time. <laughs> can't we do this with a cigarette? Hey, puff faster, puff faster, will you? Yeah, get, you, oh, you look good, you're turning green, that's good. Oh, boy. Boy, wouldn't it be just my luck to get sick before the blast off? Puff faster, oh. kiddo, you're not cooperating. Thank you, yeah. Hawkins. Here you are, Doctor. Now, Hawkins makes a very, very dry martini. You really feel it. Well, bottoms up. <laughs> Dad, don't get bottoms up. Dad will. <laughs> Let me take that back to the lab and check it. There's something wrong here, Fido. There is something wrong. Well, that's what happens when you got a cigarette sponsor, you know. <laughs> Hawkins forgot the vermouth again. Good evening, Mrs. Cavendish. But Junior just passed me in the hallway. Which way was he going? Oh, my poor child, Junior. Oh, he must be terribly hurt. I'll drink to that. Junior? Junior? Oh, Junior, where are you? Here I am, over here. What happened? I got a new invention. New invention? Yeah, I figured how to get from the first floor to the second floor without using the stairs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Page and Stubby K. Call me pedantic, but life's kind of frantic. And not too romantic these days Shows keep consisting of jumping and twisting And no one's resisting the craze Those are the dances I've stalled on When I've been called on to entertain I'm sentimental, it's not accidental that I've picked a gentle refrain Picture me upon your knee Just tea for two and two for tea Me for you, you for me alone Nobody near us to see us or hear us no friends or relations on weekend vacations We won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone Dear, day will break, I'll awake And start to make a sugar cake For you to take, for all the boys to see a family boy for you girl for me can't you see how happy we will be
take it easy Try a breezy little walk around the town Promenading, you're evading all the things that get you down In olden times, they never heard of using tranquilizer pills You can cure your ills Well, give it a go, what do you know? No more Dr. Bill Make your mind up Or you wind up with a nasty, wrinkled face We're suggesting That by resting you can beat this maddening pace Get off the treadmill if you can arrange it Cause life is crazy once you cha-cha change it Relax and see how very happy you will be Hi, Jan. Hello, Stubby. Come on over. I can't. I gotta stay right here in my chalk mark. Why don't you come over here? I can't. <laughs> well, we can't do our duet from this position. So what do we do? Well, if Mohammed won't come to the mountain, <laughs> mountain's gotta make a move of his own. <laughs> How'd he do? How'd he do? La hat. La hat? <laughs> When two guys pull together, it's teamwork. In foul or sunny weather, it's teamwork. What does it take to make any business climb? You'll find it takes teamwork every time. Consequently, nobody makes it solo. It's teamwork. One tycoon can't play polo. It's teamwork. What simple thing can bring you that? Winning score, the answer is teamwork, nothing more. Those ancient kids who stacked the pyramids, they never flipped their lids. When they got bugged, they just tugged. Ugh. Like, like Brandon, Brandon, like McNally, it's teamwork. Right to the final tally, it's teamwork. When others start to part and go on the beam like Siamese brothers, like Siamese brothers, like Siamese brothers on each other's team. Had success yeah. with single blessedness, but now we both confess. What's that? Ask Kay and Paige. Yeah, with a rage. No fuss about the billing, it's teamwork. The smallest type is thrilling, it's teamwork. Who takes the dregs and begs you to take the cream? You gotta have teamwork. What's right without teamwork? Unless you got teamwork, there's no team. Yes, sir! And now, Red Skelton and Stubby K in The Silent Spot. Right now, millions of American men are out shopping for the family Thanksgiving turkey. Today, all a man needs is the price of the turkey. But around the time of the first Thanksgiving, the pilgrims found it dangerous and difficult to get a turkey. Thank <laughs> you. 
go away. Red will be back in a minute. This again, Red Skelton. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. On behalf of our sponsors of the show tonight that made our visit possible, may I thank you very much for allowing us to be a part of your evening. So until next week, I'll say goodbye for now, and may God bless. Good night. <laughs> program was pre-recorded. Art Gilmore speaking. I'm Bud Wilkinson. Doctors and educators agree that our children today are simply not active enough physically. You can correct this situation by urging your child's school to adopt a daily physical activity program for all boys and girls. For information, write the President's Council on Youth Fitness, Washington 25, D.C.